What's up everybody, welcome to a new episode. Today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite bands of all time, The Police. Few bands can define the concept of power trio better than The Police. Emerging in the late 70s British new wave scene, they played a style of rock influenced by punk, reggae and jazz, creating a unique sound that somehow still sounds fresh today. At the center of the band was lead singer, chief songwriter and of course bass player Sting, which has now become a very respected figure in rock and roll, though it is due more to his songwriting ability than to his bass playing skills. His bass style simplified a lot over the years, but during the police era he came up with some really cool bass lines that combined with his trademark tone became one of the main elements of the signature sound of the band. So let's go through a few things you can do if you want to get close to his style. Number one is play off the beat. Normally in a rock band the bass and drums act as a foundation instrument and provide a solid bass for the guitar to play riffs or melodies on top of the rhythm. On a 4-4 time signature this happens in most cases with the kick and the bass hitting on the 1 and the snare hitting on the 2, providing a familiar and easy to understand tempo. The Police, however, was a three-piece operation with lots of space and often is guitar player Andy Summers who keeps the tempo, while the rhythm section messes around with some very unusual, for rock music, rhythmic patterns. As a result, many of the most iconic bass lines of The Police are played mainly off the beat, like the verse of Roxanne, for example. Sting and drummer Stuart Copeland play only on the two, adding some sort of reggae effect to the music. So the guitar is the element that keeps the listener tied to a familiar tempo, acting like the foundation. This kind of weird combination normally happens in the verse, while on the chorus we go back to a more linear beat. Another notable combination is the verse of Message in a Bottle, where the bass and the guitar go together and act as foundation, while Stuart Copeland's bass drum is the loose element. Just a cast Number two, repetition. Another cool feature of the police is the ability to make songs out of only one sequence of two or three chords, practically looping all the time. While vocals, guitars and drums often go for little changes for different song sections, the bass in this case keeps a steady part and never changes the line from beginning to end. Some cool examples are Canary in a Cold Mine, when the world is running down you make the best of what's still around, and Voices Inside My Head. Number 3. Use ghost notes. Though they're barely audible on the records, Sting often uses a lot of ghost notes to fill spaces. That will definitely help him to keep rhythm when singing, as of course, most of his bass lines are also syncopated against his vocal lines. So it might not look like it, but they're really hard to perform while singing. Number 4. Play with the pick close to the bridge. Though in later years Sting will switch to his fingers and then to his thumb, at the beginning of his career he was definitely a pick player. In his own words, being a trio, he needed the bass line to be very clear rather than rumbling and vague. On top Sting uses a fretless bass or an upright bass on many songs, and often he overdubs the part or he adds a piano layer to reinforce the bass line. All this is very unusual in a rock context and gave the band an additional splash of originality compared to other rock groups of the era. Number 5. Muting. Muting is another essential trait of Sting's bass style. His tone is powerful yet controlled, and muting takes everything up a notch. Listen to how the combination of muting and play on the higher part of the neck makes the bass act almost like a second guitar, creating the foundation of the track with its very rhythmic approach. Number 6. 
Sting always regarded himself as the engine room of the band, and he never intended to be flashy. However, his bass parts are all but easy, and if you wanna try to play them and sing at the same time, good luck with that. It's not what he plays, but when he plays, that make it a task that not many people can accomplish smoothly. His bass playing is subtle and mysterious, and it can steer the whole song without you even noticing it. The Police are the quintessential power trio, and I personally can't think of a more unique interaction between guitar, bass and drums. If you load their isolated tracks in your DAW and play them on solo, you'll hear a lot of mistakes and imperfections, also due to the tight budget they had to operate at the beginning of their career. And though I think they were all fabulous musicians, I'm sure some people would call these tracks unimpressive. But when you play them all together, for some reason, the magic happens and everything falls into place. You should do this experiment yourself. Also, remember, though this video is called How to Sound Like Sting, the point is not trying to sound like him, but trying to get some ideas to upgrade your playing. Thank you very much for watching, please let me know in the comments who you want me to review next and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram.